Well, ladies and gentlemen, we've got a big update coming out of Oklahoma City on the potential Legends Tower, the possible tallest skyscraper in the United States. The skyscraper has cleared another hurdle with the OKC Planning Commission. We're going to go through this, talk about it. What does this potential development look like in Oklahoma City with a potential NBA arena being located close by and and this crazy Legends Tower with a few smaller towers surrounding it filled up with hotels, offices, restaurants, the whole shebang. You can see it says the OKC Planning Commission on Thursday recommended the City Council approve zoning for a proposed 1900 foot high tower but warned they do not like the renderings showing extensive use of LED signage throughout the four-tower development. So they're pissed off about the LED lights. Wow. I think they look nice personally, especially in the renderings. The the renderings always jazz things up a little bit more, but it is four different towers with the main tower, the Legends Tower, being the tallest in the United States, and apparently they want them to have less LED lights. Uh, Maybe they'll release new renderings. I'm not sure. Two people voiced concerns about the development, specifically the height of the project's Legends Tower and LED signage that appears on renderings to be at the same height of the nearby 50-story Devon Energy Center. An OKC resident said the billboards, the flashing lights are a bit tacky for Oklahoma City. We're not Las Vegas. We're not Times Square. Too much light can trigger with sensory issues. Yeah, I don't really think that's a big issue, honestly. Maybe they could say, the only thing you could argue when it comes to a project like this, you know, and a development in a city like Oklahoma City, it's like a bit of an overkill. Like, you've got this massive tower and this crazy jazzed up area that almost looks like Las Vegas, and then everywhere surrounding it kind of looks dead. That could be a bit of a problem because obviously Las Vegas, the entire city is, you know, the same. You would kind of almost have like different designs throughout the city and I'm not sure that would be a a good fit. So I can understand them being a little bit worried, but when it comes to these renderings, they always jazz them up like crazy anyways. They later say Oklahoma City is a playground for investors who wouldn't want to invest in one of the strongest economies in the U.S., But why do they want to build the tallest building in the United States? Well, that would actually make OKC a lot more attractive. Trust me. If you have the tallest tower in the United States, that's something. It it really is. And people would be surprised by that. They'd be very impressed. We have severe storms, earthquakes. Oklahoma is one-stop shopping for disasters. So is she saying the tower could fall by an earthquake? Work on the first phase of development planned for the summer. Now, the first phase is not the Legends Tower. I believe it's the surrounding three buildings that are going to be right next to the Legends Tower. City zoning laws allow for density. Downtown and planning staff reported the almost four-acre development easily meets the density standards. The plan is still to start site work in the summer with the first phase. It's a total $1.2 billion development which will consist of two towers named Ruby and Emerald that will be 23 stories above a parking and retail area. The planning application for the project says the two towers will consist of 576 market rate apartments and 140 workforce apartments. So from this development, it it looks like the first construction stage of this plan will be two smaller towers, not the Legends Tower, the Ruby and the Emerald, And those would be mainly apartment buildings. The article later says the first phase also includes a dream hotel that will be 22 stories above the parking and retail area and consist of almost 500 rooms. So also there looks like they're doing the three buildings first and then the Legends Tower later says the second phase is the Legends Tower, which is 126 stories above the parking and retail podium. The presentation also showed the tower will include over 900 luxury residencies, over 300 hotel rooms, and around 100 more other hotel residencies. The tallest tower in the U.S. would also include 48 affordable income apartments. So this is a step in the right direction for this potential mega skyscraper in Oklahoma City with the Planning Commission approving plans for the downtown skyscraper. And when it comes to what is next in this uh, ordeal, it says the next step 
is the project will go before the OKC City Council. That vote will likely take place sometime in May. So there still are more hurdles for this potential project to clear. And you do have to think, what about the idea of the three smaller buildings getting built, but them not building the Legends Tower? Could you see something like that? Because it is pretty crazy that they would be building the biggest skyscraper in the United States in Oklahoma City. But I do think it would be a cool thing to see. And then you also have the surrounding area, possibly some type of NBA arena. Are we going to see renderings with an NBA arena and the Legends Tower right next to each other or kind of in the same vicinity? It'll be something to watch when it comes to future developments in Oklahoma City. But this is just kind of the next step with the idea that they are going to start construction or at least start the initial first stage sometime in the summer, constructing the three smaller buildings, the Ruby, Emerald, and the Dream, the hotel. And you can see those three buildings zoomed in. That's a nice rendering of that. Also, they were complaining about the lighting, too much light pollution, I'm not sure. But it does kind of give off a Las Vegas, big city type vibe in Oklahoma City. Kind of an interesting little contrast there. When it comes to the current status of the OKC new NBA arena, it is weird we haven't received any renderings for it considering this project has already been approved and they plan on opening it by 2029. So you would have to say construction will start on it, you know, maybe late 2026, two and a half years, three years to construct an NBA arena, but they want to stay downtown and I would certainly expect them to stay downtown. And again, if the Legends Tower and the smaller three buildings get built, the arena should be located relatively close to this development. So you could get a brand new futuristic NBA arena with this brand new huge development that includes the biggest skyscraper in the United States. The skyscraper still has to go through multiple more hurdles, but it is a, a big thing. And, and again, I just, I wonder what if they start building the smaller buildings and then the skyscraper doesn't get approved? I'm guessing they would just continue to build up the three smaller 23 story buildings. One of them's a hotel. The other two are like apartment type deals. And, and then imagine the skyscraper just never gets built. I still have a hard time believing the skyscraper is going to happen like, could we see a scenario where people push back significantly against it? It ends up being only 1,400 feet, not 1,900 feet. You know, there's going to be some trepidation here when it comes to building this thing almost 2,000 feet tall in a place like Oklahoma City. It's just kind of random in comparison to where you would expect the tallest skyscraper in the United States to be. A lot of cities at this point, I mean, New York City, they haven't even been able to build the two World Trade Center because there's just not enough demand. There's not enough tenants that want the building, especially after what happened during the pandemic, everyone going remote and a lot of workers not wanting to come back to the office. But when it comes to this development, we're going to continue to update it, but at least we got kind of a vision with the first stage of it, not including the Legends Tower. It's the three other smaller buildings surrounding the Legends Tower, and then the Legends Tower goes up in what they're calling the second phase when it comes to this potential skyscraper development at around, what is it, $1.3 billion, the total cost of this. Either way, guys, that is going to do it for the video. Make sure you follow me on X. Link to that's always in the description.